Hey Riggers, Steven here. I'm going to catch you up on some cool improvements to control nodes in Maya 2018. Uh, if you didn't see my original review of control nodes, uh, kind of showing you what they are and what they're all about, uh, check the link below and catch yourself up and then uh, watch this to see the latest updates. So basically this is something that has been kind of incrementally updated over the last several releases and updates. Um, and what it is basically a controller node in summary is a, a special tag that you put on an object to let Maya know that it's a special object and it needs to do special things with it. So I've tagged all of these control objects here uh, with control nodes. So you can see in the node editor, if I pull in here a little bit and kind of look downstream of this, uh, you can see here that I have this object called a tag. Um, it's called right hand tag. Uh, if I actually hit the five key, you can see it's of type controller node. Um, but it's got a variety of attributes on here, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But now this is tagged. Maya sees it and it knows to do special things. For instance, custom pick walking, where I can use my arrow keys to go from the left side of the object to the right side of the object. Uh, or I can go up and down the hierarchy of my rig, back down the hierarchy of my rig, and then again, sidestepping from one side of my character to the other. So the thing that we've done in 2018 is we've added the ability to create uh, visibility controls. So what I can do now is I can take a control node, the tag, we've got a new mode in here for visibility. By default, it's not overridden, which is just standard my visibility. Here, I've got two other options. One is show in proximity, the other is parent. Parent just means it will look at the one above it. Uh, I'm going to just turn on show on proximity and you'll see that immediately disappeared. And now if I hover over it, you'll see that it appears. And same thing with a knee. I can come in here and I can say show on proximity, it disappears. And then when I get within a certain range, it will appear, which is pretty awesome. So now I can actually go in and let me show you a finished character. So this is an example of that same character where I've gone, and gone in and set up all the control, no control nodes. As an animator, I've got this really clean, simple view of my character, my rig. And now if I wanted to go in and start to manipulate this, I just simply hover over the controls that I want to manipulate. So you can see that as I drag my mouse over, then all these various controls will disappear. Now, uh, along with this, you can now, with your W, E, and R keys, you can go into move mode. You can middle mouse drag, just middle mouse click, and you can pose without ever having to actually bring up the manipulator. So again, I'm in move mode. I'll just click drag. Let's say I wanted to bring the hips. Just kind of click drag those down. Maybe take the foot. Click drag that up. Maybe take the knee. And really quickly, I can start to go in here and manipulate my, oops, I missed that one, manipulate my character without really having to you know, hit a lot of hotkeys and switch around. Now this does work with rotation as well. So you can see here if I click drag on the shoulder control, I'm actually moving it. If I just hit the, the E key for rotate, now I come in here and click drag on it and now I'm actually rotating that shoulder as you would expect. Likewise, if I wanted to rotate the spine or rotate the hips or whatever, you can use your middle mouse drag on that as well. So that's uh, that's the latest update. Uh, as you can see, you know these have improved quite a bit and have improved quite a bit over a few releases, and we have plans to improve them further. So stay tuned on that. But in the meantime, uh, check them out.